Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my little vlog, coffee, tea, wine, and life. Anyway, I hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous day. As you can see, I have got these gorgeous flowers behind me. They are for Mother's Day. So I got two dozen of the purple roses from Raina and Jeremy, Maddie, Matt, and Quinn. And so these are just beautiful. And it came with this purple vase. And then I put the other dozen in the clear vase behind me. But they are really, really beautiful. I was so surprised to get these. But you know what else? Sabrina and the jelly beans. So Miss Tori Pie and Aiden sent me these beautiful, beautiful day lilies here. And they're in this kind of tin milk can. We got that bird there, even though she knows I'm terrified of birds. And we've got Dream Sweet Dreams. But anyway, these are just so beautiful. I think that the day lilies. So we've got the white and then we've got kind of like purpley pinks here. We've got quite a few that haven't opened yet. So it's like every day they're just blooming a little bit more. Same with the roses. So thank you so much, Sabrina and the jelly beans. And thanks again to Arena and Jeremy, Quinn and Maddie Matt. So anyway, you know, I usually don't film in here. I used to kind of move around quite a bit, but um, I have this stupid smoke alarm, right? And it's probably been about two and a half, maybe three years since it started chirping. And it didn't really bother me. I really didn't even hear it anymore. I just kind of toned it out. But I'd be talking to Sabrina on the phone and she'd, is that still that smoke alarm, Mom? Yeah, it is. Well, why don't you change it? Well, you know, it's at the peak of a cathedral ceiling. The cathedral ceiling peak is over the stairs to go downstairs. I know. Why? Why would a builder do that? Most people cannot get it. Even if I took the ladder in, I wasn't still at the top rung. I still wouldn't be tall enough to get it. But anyway, so I kind of like, kind of just kept waiting for the thing to die. I know. It, it wasn't dying anytime fast. So anyway, when Raina and Jeremy, Maddie, Matt, and Quinn were here, they were like, how long has that been going off? And I'm like, mm, almost three years now. And it's like, but you don't even hear it anymore. You really get used to it. And they're like, we can't sleep with that. So Jeremy went out, got my ladder in the garage. Not too fond of heights he is either. But anyway, Took a few times getting it placed strategically so you didn't fall down the stairs and balancing act or whatever. So anyway, he did it. He climbed the ladder, didn't look down, got it changed. So it's nice and quiet. And uh, I don't know, like I said, I didn't hear it anymore, but people could hear it. The FedEx man offered to change it a few times, but he never came, came in. He just said, I'm going to come with the ladder. I'm going to change that. And people I talked to on the phone at work, they could all hear it. But I how could they hear it when I, I didn't hear it anymore? But anyway, so seeing how I had these beautiful flowers right here, I thought I would take advantage of coming out here without it being chirping away every few minutes. I know. So thank you so much, Jeremy, for doing that. But anyway, coffee, tea, wine, and life. So I'm using one of my favorite coffee cups here. And it is from Friend Mail that I got from Sherry. So it says, I wish you lived next to me. And Nancy and Sherry. Sherry, she is an awesome, awesome person. I love her so much. She lives in Crystal River, Florida. I think you've probably heard me mention this uh, alien loving beauty queen. Sherry, she's an awesome, awesome lady. But anyway, she has been struggling with COVID um, and the side effects, the after effects for probably about a month now. It hit her whole family. And Sherry also takes care of her mom and some other people with some special health needs. And so it really hit her hard. And of course, Sherry, she's got some underlining um, heart issues as well, which is why the COVID hit her as hard as it has. So she is having a tough time getting her, her heart rate uh, regulated again, getting her blood pressure stabilized just some things like that and other COVID things, just the fatigue and just being so tired and not being able to catch your breath. So she's got those kind of issues that, you know, I still struggle with here and there. But um, so anyway, I hope you guys can go and check her out. Um, send her some love, send her some prayers. And again, it's 
Sherry from Beauty Is You, Beauty Inside and Out. And again, she's a special, special sweetheart. She's also got a second channel, Makeup, Paws and Me. She's also got her three rescue dogs that she, oh my God, they are so beautiful. I love her dogs. But anyway, she's got that channel too, Makeup, Paws and Me. And uh, again, and she's so worried and concerned that she's going to keep losing subscribers because she can't, hasn't got the energy to do her giveaways and she doesn't have the energy to do her filming and it's like you know anyone who has had covid can totally understand um the challenges of doing that sherry we love you please please don't worry about uh, your channel we're here for you and we will always be here but if you could check her out maybe subscribe to her if you haven't just show her some love send her some prayers and um say hi sherry feel better so anyway getting back to my vlog I know I can go off on tangents all day long but anyway spring has finally come to Minnesota yes it has we've had some like you know we still had snow in April I had before um, Raina and Jeremy and Maddie Matt and Quinn came in the middle of April I still had like two feet of snow across the front yard across the backyard and can you believe it was just about all gone when they came the ground was a sloppy sloppy mess i also had a tree which i put a picture i'll do this up thing i went out today in the rain and kind of took a picture of how green it is outside i know green spring is here we've had so much rain but in between the rain we've had a day that was almost 80 we've been in the 70s a few days and just the sun and the rain ground is drying up a little bit but the leaves just kind of all came out at once last week my dogwood or maybe it's a crab apple tree I, I don't know there's no apples on it but this flowers on it and it's so so pretty but it only usually lasts a few days usually by the time it comes into full bloom it's like we get a heavy rain and windstorm and boom all the flowers are gone so i'm hoping that it lasts a little bit longer than that i usually like to try to go out when i've got a day that's perfect and we got that blue sky behind it I don't think I'm going to get one of those this year. It just came out boom like that. But you know, also when Raina was here with her family, um, that tree on the side of the house um, it was actually overgrown a little bit. Yeah, you can imagine. And so it was actually lifting up some of the uh, shingles on the uh, roof. So again, he went out with that trusty ladder and cut down, cut it down a little bit. So it's not brushing up uh, against the shingles anymore. So that's really awesome. But the ground, while they were here, it was like sopping, sopping wet. My neighbors on either side of me, their sump pumps were going crazy, pumping out water from underneath the basements. I don't think it got into the basements, but the sump pumps were doing its trick. And I kept thinking, oh my gosh, is mine going to break? Is mine going to break? And mine didn't come on. I have nothing. I, I'm a little bit higher than they are. Just slightly a little bit higher and something about when the owners made this house they did a french drain so um now the years i've been here 23 I've, my sump pump has only come on that one time last year and that's when the uh things that go around at the clamps kind of broke and it was kind of running and then the water would run back into the hole down and it was just running and running and running and so actually one of the guys from work came and fixed it i could not get a plumber out for like two or three weeks and by then my electric bill would have gone crazy and if i shut it off i would have had flooding issues so anyway he came and replaced the little clamps and boom hasn't run since um that fall last year knocking on my head again but anyway so yeah so it's nice and quiet in here and uh, some pump didn't come on no water damage but the ground is drying up and it so yeah i went out in the rain today and just kind of took a picture of the front of the house to show the green grass and the flowering trees and then just in the back yeah, just to kind of um show that that all the leaves are coming out i know spring is finally here i really had my doubts again this year but it always seems to come but for what do i have coming i've got uh Timu that came in last week but I still got a little bit of filming I think I just about did everything that I had in that giant one that I had like three or four um, Timu hauls kind of all shipped in the same bag so I've got a couple of things left from that one so I'll kind of mix it up don't know if I've got enough to do two videos but I do have another Timu order that I ordered that should probably be here um, maybe in another week or so 
So I've got at least two more Timu Tuesdays to do. I love Timu Tuesday. And I did get some more wigs. I know, I could not help myself. I got a pink wig. I'm hoping it's kind of like the short style so that I don't have to worry about it really getting tangled and things like that. But anyway, I'm excited to see what I'm gonna wear with that. I have no idea. And um, my book of the month came in. So I'm excited. I got two books because I had someone that I used my link. So thank you so much. So I picked an extra book for it. And in March, can you believe in March, I got to read three books. That was like my best month in a long time uh, since I got back into reading. I'm so excited. I had three great books. And then um, in April, I kind of put reading off to the side because I knew that Raina and Jeremy, Maddie, Matt, and Quinn were coming. And so instead of that time that I would spend to read like um, an hour a night or something like that, um, I had to work on the spare room because I still had my Halloween costumes kind of like different stages because I was trying to group them with the wig that I bought to go with it. But then I thought, well, do I want to keep the wig out to wear? So anyway, my Halloween stuff was all over the place. Um, my Christmas and my New Year's sparkly dresses, they were out all over the place in there. I had my boxes and things of my Christmas decorations from that tree that I usually have right here. So I couldn't fit them back in the closet because I had all my other stuff there. So every night I had to do a little bit to get them ready. And then I finally, finally said, you know what? My dryer hasn't worked for about a year. And um, so anyway, last spring when it died, um, I, I just figured, you know, it's 23 years old, knocking on my head, but it was 23 years old and I thought, I'm going to have someone come, they're not going to be able to fix it or it's going to cost me an arm or, or a leg and then they're going to tell me that, you know, it's not repairable, you have to get a new one, so I just kept putting it off. I did not want to spend the money on a new washer and dryer. They're not cheap like they used to be. Yeah, they're expensive. So anyway, I just did small loads. And so last spring, summer and fall, I took all my stuff outside, hung it up over the deck and things in the back, which good thing I've got that wetlands behind me, the trees and stuff, because otherwise I'm sure the homeowners association would have fined me for it. And then of course in the winter, I would hang things up in the laundry room or in the spare bathroom, things like that. Again, just doing small loads and it didn't really bother me, you know? Um, sure, it's nice to have nice soft fluffy towels from the dryer and sure when you wash your sheets it's nice to get into them when they're nice and soft and not hard from drying outside but and anyway I was I was doing fine with it kind of like you know the smoke alarm things just don't bother you after a while but anyway I thought you know when they come they're probably going to want nice soft fluffy towels and of course I had that linen closet that I've got um, towels probably haven't been used in like six years or so so took them all out got them all washed and dried and put away and got the bed stripped and I was going to put summer sheets on it. But when I decided to start doing this, we still had two feet of snow. So I put my flannel fluffy sheets back on the bed. So they're probably a little hot, but you know, they were clean, they were soft. And so I did that, got all my Halloween things and stuff downstairs. <sighs> yeah, so I didn't get to do any reading in April. But anyway, then I thought, well, after they leave, I'll get back into it. But by then I hadn't, really been on YouTube for a week so you know I'm always behind anyway so I thought well you know I have to catch up before I get back into reading so I'm not there yet but I'm hoping that I'm gonna get caught up enough because I really miss reading I got my glossy box it's out it's not out for delivery but it's been uh, dispatched last month was one of the best glossy box we've had in a long time so I'm excited to see what's gonna be in this one uh, my glam bag um, has been dispatched. I probably will have that maybe Tuesday or Wednesday next week. I got the Boxy Charm or the AKA, the Ipsy Glam Bag. Oh, no, no, I've got the Icon Box that came in. So I think I've got two add-ons in that one. So that came in. So I've got to open that. And so I'm excited to see what my first Icon Box is going to be like since this big magical merge that they did. So excited about that. And... Um, I think that's all I've got coming. So we'll have to go from there. But anyway, I do enjoy trying to do a vlog once a month and go back over the like the previous month and just show uh, the planner layout that I did, the um, pictures that I put in, anything going on. Like for February was my brother's um, 
birthday month, so I wanted to share some pictures of him. March, we've got Sabrina's birthday. We've got my dad's birthday in here, so I'm excited about sharing that sharing that with you guys as well. I went out and I did take a little bit of video of the green, so we're going to put that in here. And the new planners um, are actually out, uh, like the ones from Erin um, Condren that I used to get before this Happy Planner. And the Happy Planner is out. But the ones that are out right now are the 18-month ones, which is what this one is. Because I had used the Erin Condren one for a couple of years, and I really did enjoy using that. It was the smaller format, though. And so I wanted to start adding uh, more pictures and have bigger pictures in here so that um, you know, 20 years from now when I'm, you know, got like three or four cheetah glasses on so I could still try to see the pictures, I thought it would be easier to see. And, uh, it, you know, I really enjoyed it. This one, I did get the 18-month one to start because I figured that gave me six months to kind of practice with this new format and seeing how I liked it and how to work with it. But um, going forward, I just want to go back to doing the year-to-year the -year ones. So probably they'll be out um, maybe... November-ish, they should be out and I'll get my planner for next year. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to show you the pictures that I have in here uh, for the month of March. And I'll try to squeeze in April sometime in the next few weeks to get that in there to have that over with and then try to get back to doing it once a month. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble. Um, I'm just going to probably close with uh, showing the video of the outside and then the planner. And anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. You guys are awesome, and it really means a lot to me to have you guys stop in and visit. I appreciate you guys all so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Again, if you're new to my channel, I hope you hit that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up. So anyway, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. I love you guys so much. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Alrighty, so starting with that last few days in February, going into the first week in March. So to end the month of February, we had a gorgeous ice storm. We had power lines down. It was probably the start of some computer issues going on with the office as they were getting people to rehook up everything from the damage from the ice storm. It was also my dad's birthday week, so I picked out a few pictures of my dad uh, when he was in World War II in the Navy and also a picture of him and his brother Irving back, I believe they were still living in New Jersey at the time. Um, I also picked a picture of um, myself pinning uh, my dad's boutonniere on his tuxedo for a wedding. And then in the uh, re reception line, there's my mom, my dad, and Rick. It's might be the only time that I have a picture of the just the three of them together. And I also finished White Horse, really enjoyed that book. And then again, the pictures of the month that I have in here are just pictures of some thumbnails that I did. All right, so going into the second week in March, this is Sabrina's uh, birthday week. So to celebrate Sabrina's birthday, one of our favorite shows, and just using quotes for all the time from all the different characters, is Friends. So I picked a Friends-themed kit. So at the beginning there, I've got a picture of Sabrina, her graduation picture, and then one as she was a baby. Well, not a baby. She's a toddler there. But anytime she got hurt, she was just so dramatic, and she's got an egg on her head there, so we had to take a picture of her. The second picture set down is Sabrina and her mini-me, Tori Pie, uh, kind of dressed in the same type of uh, color, so it, we just thought that was interesting. I put that in there. We had more snow. We had snow on, I think, Wednesday Thursday and I think on Saturday. Um, again, the pictures that I've gotten here are just uh, from my thumbnails. It was also my first uh, Timu, my PR haul, so I was really excited to get that. And then I've also got down at the bottom a picture of Sabrina and Rick at her wedding, a picture of Sabrina as a toddler, and the first time that the babies. I think they're six months old there, and they were out of the NICU, and she was getting to hold them. So that was a great day for her. 
All right, and for St. Patty's Week, this is actually the anniversary of my mom's uh, when she passed away 14 years ago. She was 81, so I've got a couple of pictures here devoted to my mom. One of her is, um, she was a tomboy. She was up in the tree. She was very, very, very skinny with knobby knees. She was born with um, heart valves that didn't... Um, they weren't mechanically correct, so the blood didn't get moved around from the different um, uh, ventricles in her in her heart. So she was kind of malnourished, and she had some issues. She had open heart surgery in Boston um, in the early 1930s. I think she was like the second operation that this uh, doctor, the surgeon, had done. And he had his findings printed in the uh, New England Journal of Medicine back in that year. I know my Aunt Margie had a copy that I know she showed to us, but I have no idea where that was. They didn't expect her to really live past her teens, but she lived to be 81. So she had a strong, healthy life after that. So again, I've just got some pictures of my mom there. Um, we had some snow. We had St. Patty's Day. So of course, you know, I like to dress up a little bit. And I think that's probably about it for this week. I did finish reading The Circus Train. Oh, my God. I absolutely love that book. And, yeah, I did a really long review on that. I really need to figure out how to shorten those. But, anyway, let's go on to the next week. All right. So, for this week, I used a Mad Hatter kit. I believe that was from Sugary Gal, um, a shop on Etsy. But really like some of her smaller kits. Tried to do a little bit of journaling in here because I really didn't have too much going on. I was covering for tooling three days that week. So, I had my job plus the work of two other people to do that week. So, I was quite busy. I didn't do a lot of videos, but I did put in the thumbnails that I had. I also had received my first Timu order that was uh, delayed for quite a few weeks. I mean, it with all the credits that they gave me, that was almost a free order that I got. And then I just dressed up um, as an with an old costume there as the Mad Hatter because I just thought it was fitting and I didn't really have too much going on that week. Alrighty, and here is the last week in March. I've got a picture up at the top of, from back in the, I'm going to say mid-80s here, early to mid-80s. That's me with my big hair and Raina and Sabrina, and we're just posed in front of the Jeep, which uh, the license plate was Fun Toy, and that was before Rick had got it all decked out and repainted and big tires, and you know how men like to play with their toys. Um, it was also my second Timu haul, so I was excited that, who knew it was going to be starting Timu Tuesday. Um, and just a kind of slow week going on. I did finish the London Seance Society. I really enjoyed that book as well. We had a snowstorm the last day of March going into April Fool's. We had a really nice blizzard, so it was nice that it happened on the weekend and not too many people had to rush and try to drive to work in that. And I think that is it. I did a, my first really throwback Thursday using pictures from my old scrapbook. I meant to do some more. It's just a little time consuming to take a picture of like every page in there and then try to put it together. But I, I would like to do that just so I have a memory if something ever happens to it. So that is everything. And I can't believe I read three books in March. That was a really good month. Also finally got my dryer fixed. It was oh, probably almost a year since it broke. And... My dryer's, oh my gosh, is it 23 years old, my washer and dryer? And I just kept thinking, I'm going to call someone to come and fix it. They're going to make me get a new one. So I just did small loads and, um, you know, during the summer months and fall and spring, I hung things outside. Otherwise, I just kind of hung them up in, you know, the spare bathroom and hung things around to dry. So it was really a nice feeling to get it fixed. It only cost $150. So I thought that was pretty amazing. So then began getting ready, ready for Raina and Jeremy and Maddie, Matt and Quinn to come and just trying to get all the beds stripped and because it's nice when you can get into soft sheets instead of something that kind of hung to dry outside and getting all the towels washed that probably haven't been used in five or six years. So it was a busy week, but I was looking forward to them coming. Alrighty, we have got a gentle rain going on right now, but you can just see from the greenness, spring is definitely here. 
I got the uh, ewes coming back to life and my crab tree or whatever that is. Maybe it's a dogwood. But it is in full bloom. Loving looking at all this green. We've got a lot of weeding to do. And just looking out the backyard, we have got leaves coming out crazy. The last few days have just been crazy. We've had a lot of rain, but a lot of sun in between, and everything in the back yard is just coming back to life. Hopefully soon I'll be able to sit out here and enjoy some nice summer nights with you guys in the fall.